Hello and welcome to my Let's Play Minecraft series Rocket World, episode number 45. I'm in my nether skin for the next episode or two as we're going to be spending some time here. Today the plan is to link up the nether network to the Savannah Village nether portal. That's a lot of building work so if it's not really your cup of tea, why not try some end city raiding from episode 42? Link in the top right and in the description. Coming up in today's episode, I play peekaboo with a ghast. So let's jump in and get started. Right, here we are just outside the nether portal behind us and let's have a look and see what we've got to do today. Right down this tunnel is where we're going to be putting all of our slabs so that we can make this into a nice boat road eventually. Now I'm down the far end of the tunnel from the nether portal which is all the way down there and down here is where it links up to the main nether network hub. Um, this area here I've already done because it bridged out over the void so um, this links up here nicely with the ice boat road. Actually is that? Yeah that's right, yep yep because there's a gap here so that's a lower, oh, <laughs> it's gone, don't have a replacement for that yet. That's a lower half slab and then the ice sits above it so nothing can spawn underneath and unfortunately things can spawn above but we'll sort that out later. What I'm also going to do while I'm here is I'm going to smelt my glass because if you look here you'll notice that this is all glass here and it's red glass as well so if we have a quick look here got that ready I've got a couple of stacks and I've brought a furnace as well so hopefully I'm reasonably prepared for all of this and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out this layer here, that layer here and taking it all the way back to the nether um, portal for the Savannah Village. So I'm going to get this all started now and let's do that, I should chuck all that lot in there. Uh, I could probably do putting down a chest so I'm not carrying all this stuff constantly. Right, but let's get started. I've brought you back just for a brief moment to show you that uh, all I'm doing here is just taking out those couple of layers there and then filling them in with lower half slabs. Right there we are, the uh, lower half slabs done all the way from the end there all the way along to the nether portal here. Right, here we are at the main tunnel and this is going down here and you can see the sides are two blocks of glass high and then this should be a glass ceiling as well, I'm not quite sure why. I haven't put that in. Every 10 blocks there's going to be a column. Now this tunnel goes to the nether fortress, which is using nether bricks, but down here I will probably use some savannah wood probably because it's going to the savannah. So uh, that's what's going to happen here. And I need some, are they full blocks? They're full blocks there, aren't they? So I'm going to be dipping into my reserves of a uh, cobbled deep slate to make those and put those in. In fact, before the glass goes in, I think it might be as well put all of this row of that in. Now just looking through the gap I've created here you can see there is another layer of the half slabs which go in this position here. Right, we've gone all the way from the main nether network over there, all the way along here, cutting it out, filling it in uh, without any incidents. So that's worked quite well. We're now into fairly safe territory where there's a lot of soul sand and we're inside the uh, netherrack tunnel now so it should be easy going from here on in. Right, here we are up by the nether portal and the basics are laid all the way down to the main nether hub network. So the next thing is to put in the glass and the pillars every 10 blocks. Right, I'm now taking out the walls here and it's a little bit more dodgy because I'm opening myself up nice and wide to any attacks by the skellies, ghasts and anything else that's around. 
So let's see how we get on this. Uh, should be a bit more fun. Hey, already. Uh, maybe I'll just take it all apart from down here. Oh dear. Just hoping the skellies can get in. Uh, might be able to from there actually. Right, let's start sealing some of this up. Right now. 41, 40, so about there. I need to put in one of my pillars. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get on top of that because I'm already a half slab down, so it's going to be a bit more exciting. Oh, I know. I've just got to go along here from this end, haven't I? Right, let's try that. So I've taken that block here where I've lost it. Oops. Yeah, you, get out of there. There's a skelly up there somewhere as well. Right, let's make a dash along here. See if we can, whoops, pop that on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then it's another. Oh, I've run out of um, logs already. I only just started. Hmm, I knew there would be something I'd forgotten. Oh well, never mind. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Yep. And that goes there. Right, I'll go and get some more blocks. Okay, all the windows are in on the open section, now, apart from this little bit here where I'm using it to jump up and down onto here. Um, I know this hasn't got the uh, ceiling done on it, but I think I might quite like to do that. So I'm going to start taking that apart somehow and um, running the risk of the ghasts and things and uh, skellies. And we'll see how we go. Uh, I've got some more glass smelting down there because I've only got eight uh, red stained glass at the moment. So that's not going to be anywhere near enough. So I'm going to pillar up and see what I can do. Alright, let's get some netherrack on the hot bar. And I think we may as well go up here. Right, keep an eye out. Is it safe? Is it ever safe when you're doing something silly like this? Right, let's take all that lot out. Very interesting. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right. Interesting now, I'm going to have to come along here and put the other rack back on the top of these pillars so that I can put the logs on sideways. Let's have a go at doing that now. So if we grab a bit of nether rack, I hear you, wherever you are. That goes on there, that goes there, that goes there, and then we strip it off and take that off. So that's what it's going to do, and then the glass is going to fill in the area in between. Oops, I think I'll move. <laughs> Right, anyway, when I finish this, I shall get back to you. Maybe. Maybe. What? Alright then. Oh, nearly had you. There we go, sorted you out. Right, I've got a bit of my glass now, so let's go up and see if we can put a bit more of this roof on. So it should be a case of just popping these on here like this. Gives us a better view of the surrounding area as we go along. Uh, I think I'm going to need that open for the time being. So let's come along here, do the same again. Oops, let's see if we can get that one as well. Uh, we've only had a few ghasts of a shot at us and one or two skellies. So we've been lucky up till now. So. Let's see if we can. Oh, I'm out of glass again, so. Yep, it's all going rather well at the moment. Right, let's get some more glass. Ow, who did that? Oh, you. Why can't I get down in here? <laughs> How bizarre. Right, more glass in a moment. Okay, up there, possibly. Is there anybody else around here? No. Not 
far away. He looks like trouble. Oh, and they are again. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a whole lot more, aren't I? Did I miss that? Standing still. Terrible. Right. Let's get some more glass. Right, there we go. All of the roof is now put in all the way over to here. I think we might need a few more blocks because I think they should be glass really rather than netherrack, whereas this is the actual material around here. So I may, may need a few more of those. I'm going to put some more of these in every 10 blocks and uh, take that all the way down to the nether portal at the very end. Right, I filled in the last bits of glass here as I went and got a bit extra. I put all these pillars in here coming through the underground tunnel section and I've even taken these arches all the way through to the nether portal at the end. Actually, I can use these last bits of glass to fill in the roof here, something like that. Perhaps I'll get a few more bits and pop them in. It now comes all the way up to the nether portal now. I need to do something with this at some point. I'm not sure when, but if we have a quick look from down here, you can see there's this great big carbuncle sticking out. It's awful, isn't it? Very safe, but really awful. It just looks horrific. So I'm definitely going to have to do something with that. I'm not going to have time for that just yet, as my next priority is lying just over there behind these nether trees. Next episode, I'll be taking down the Bastion. That brings us to the end of today's episode. This week, we have a comment from the End City Raiding episode number 42. Joggerite said, Nice end busting. The backup elytras are always useful. They sure are. I always like to have backups in case the worst happens. You can find a link to Joggerite's channel in the description below. Thank you all for watching today, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more on a regular basis, then why not consider subscribing? The likes and comments will help us to get to 200 subs. Not far to go now. Look forward to seeing you all in the next episode, so have fun and see you later.